Since the beginning of the Syrian war in 2011, Iran has been providing significant financial and military support to Bashar al-Assad's regime, utilizing various approaches to increase its influence in Syria. The first strategy involved working directly with foreign and local militias. Over the years, the Iranians have gradually taken control of parts of Damascus, Aleppo, Hama and the south, purchasing abandoned lands from Sunni refugees who are unable to return. A security committee in Hama province decided not to allow what they called terrorists from returning to their lands. Then government documents were issued formally confiscating my land, along with the land of at least a hundred others who they consider opponents. Imagine they also confiscated land belonging to my relatives as well. Families of Shia Iranians, Afghan, Pakistani and Iraqi militiamen have settled in those areas, leading to concerns about serious territorial integrity. Iran continues to pursue an active strategy to alter the demography of Syria ethnically, linguistically, culturally, religiously and politically. It has created ties that will facilitate its goal of Iranian Shiification of Syria. Recently, the Assad regime granted Iran permission to purchase homes and property previously owned by Syrians displaced by the Assad, Russian and Iranian bombardment. Moreover, Iran was granted ownership of Syrian lands in exchange for paying off Assad's debts, compromising Syria's territorial integrity through concessions to international allies. This pattern of the Assad administration selling off Syrian resources and compromising its territorial integrity persists. Despite the Assad regime's claim that maintaining territorial integrity is one of its top priorities, its actions suggest otherwise.